Adding Google Analytics to WordPress is a painless process. There are numerous ways to do it. Today we will follow some simple steps to get it added. There is a plugin in the WordPress plugin repository that allows us to not only add the Google Analytics code, but load it in such a way that passes the Google PageSpeed Insights test. By default, the Google Analytics script has a low two-hour cache time set, which ironically triggers a flag in the Google PageSpeed Insights. The aforementioned plugin will let you add your tracking ID, load the tracking code in the footer, and also load the script locally. Loading the script locally bypasses the two-hour cache limitation, removing the flag set by Google's PageSpeed test. There is one caveat, however, and that is that Google doesn't support the local storage of the script. The reason Google does not prefer the local serving of the script is because it can quickly become out of date when upgrades occur. However, the plugin that stores it also leverages WP Cron to auto-update the script, so that concern becomes moot. In this tutorial, you will see how to add your site to Google Analytics, how to connect Google Analytics with Google Search Console, assuming you have already added your site to the Google Search Console, and finally, how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. Before you move on, make sure that you have a Google account. Having a Gmail email address or a YouTube account qualifies. Make sure that you have already added your website to Google Search Console. I will insert a segment of a video right now that shows how to add your site to the Search Console. Feel free to skip past this section if you do not need to perform these steps. First, log into your Google account or Gmail. Then point your browser to google.com slash webmasters slash tools slash home. Type or paste in the URL to your home page next to the box that says website. Then click the add a property button. Click the HTML tag radio button. Click on the meta tag to highlight it and copy it to the clipboard. Go back to your WordPress dashboard in the new tab or window. Click Jetpack, then Settings. Click the Engagement link from across the top of the page. Slide the slider next to Site Verification to activate it. Click the down arrow. In the Google box, paste in the meta tag you copied from the Google Search Console. Remove everything from the tag except for what is within the quotes of the content parameter. Scroll down and click on the Save Settings button. Go back to the Google Search Console. Click the Verify button. You may need to wait several minutes if you see a verification failed message. Once you see the congratulations message, click on the continue link. At this point, if you continue to see verification failed when trying the meta tag verification, if you're comfortable with FTP, you could try the HTML file upload verification method instead. Be sure to repeat the previous steps for all versions of your website. You may or may not have them all, depends if you have SSL attached to your domain or not. At a minimum though, add the www and non www http versions. You will set your preferred version next. Here's how to set the preferred domain and optionally country for your website. You should still be logged into the Google Search Console from the previous steps. If not, log into the dashboard now. Your site should be listed in the drop-down at the top right. Click the gear icon at the top, then click Site Settings. Choose whether you want www or non-www as your preferred domain. Click the Save button. Optionally, to specify a target country for your website, from the left side, click Search Traffic, then International Targeting. Click the Country tab on the right side of the page. Put a check in the box, select the country, and click Save. Now, let's add your site to Google Analytics. Point your web browser to google.com slash analytics. Click Sign In at the top right, then click Analytics. If prompted, log in with your main Google account. Click the Sign Up button. Type in an account name similar to the name of your website. Type in your website name. Choose the protocol for your website, either HTTP or HTTPS. Paste in your website URL. Choose an industry category that best matches what your site is about. 
Change the reporting time zone to match your local time. Specify any data sharing settings you're interested in. And then click the Get Tracking ID button. When prompted to accept the terms of service, choose your country, read the terms, and if you accept, click the I Accept button. Copy your tracking ID for later use. Assuming you have already set up your website with the Google Search Console, let's move on to the next steps. Here's how to connect Google Analytics with Google Search Console. Click on Property Settings on the left side. Scroll down and click the Adjust Search Console button, then scroll back up. Click the Edit link. Choose the preferred version of your website, then click the Save button. You will now land in the Search Console. You can close that window to go back to Analytics. Click the Done button and refresh the page so you can see the connection between Analytics and Search Console. Now, with your Analytics Tracking ID handy, let's go back to your WordPress dashboard. If you haven't yet copied the Tracking ID, you can click the Tracking Info, then Tracking Code link in the Analytics dashboard to get it. And here's how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. From within your WordPress dashboard, click Plugins, then Add New. Do a search for Complete Analytics Optimization Suite. Click Install Now, then Activate. Click Settings, then Optimize Analytics. Paste in your tracking ID in the top box. Choose Footer for the location, unless you have a specific reason to choose Header. Select Anonymize IP if applicable, and click the Save Changes button. Now to test your placement, you can either wait for Google Analytics to start reporting data, Visit your Google Analytics dashboard to see. You can also have Google Analytics send test traffic. Or enable the Track Logged In Administrators feature in the Complete Analytics Optimization Suite. Then visit your site, right-click and view source, then do a find for your tracking ID to see if it's there.